Welcome to the Health One series of videos 2015. This series of videos is to do with Health One version 7.5. To check to see what version you have, you should click on Help and About, and you'll see the version number here, version 7.5.0. Don't worry too much about this. Today I'm going to talk about another feature uh, to do with the pregnancy management system of 7.5. Uh, there are several other videos on the pregnancy system. I'm going to open this patient file. As you can see here, her pregnancy tab is to the fore, which means that she's probably pregnant at the moment. And as you can see, she, her last pregnancy, she has seven recorded in Health One, uh, is now 31 weeks. I'm going to show you in this video about the um, how to configure the reports, that is the letters you will send off to the hospital. This button here is to do with all the administrative stuff in the uh, pregnancy management system. As you can see here you have a maternity application, a referral letter to the hospital and a maternity claim. And in each of these uh, you have a set of reports. So I'm going to look at the first report, maternity application. As you can see, this is this is a report, a fast report, which is unlike, uh, it's slightly different to the type of report you were using before. And you come up with a report, which is a maternity application. Uh, but you'll have to edit this, these reports, and this is what this video is about, in order to put in things like the address of the HSE in your area, and the telephone number of the HSE, and some of your own doctor details. So I'm going to show you that, all about that in this particular video. <coughs> As I have demonstrated in another uh, video, if you look at tools, options, pregnancy, you can see that here that you can either use a Health One template, which is the kind of letter you were already using, uh, to print pregnancy documents, but the name of these uh, templates will be different to your existing ones, so you may have to edit them a little bit, or else rename your existing ones. And it is normally by default unticked, so that you don't use the template, you use a report. And this is what you've just seen here, is the report. Click on that maternity application, and you see a maternity report. So here, uh, again, you would have to edit this, and I'm going to show you how to edit all of these. So I'm going to exit this and show you the various ones. So there's maternity application, a referral letter, and a HSE maternity claim. So for the future of the pregnancies, you should be using these, these um, letters, ideally. So I go to the referral letter, which is, again, a report. It's a fast report. And as you can see here, I've just put in the uh, GP name, GP qualifications and all that, so you can put in your own headers or you can change it. Uh, it's getting these details here from your um, user, user DB information you have in the user DB, which I'll also show you. And the third letter then is the maternity claim. And again, this uh, is this information here, the doctor's name is taken from the user DB, but you might want to put your own particular thing on this. So I'm going to now show you how to, first of all, edit these templates. So because we're using the reports section, if you click on the administrative button here, and if you now hold the shift key down while you're pretending to print this maternity application, you will get to the edit screen. So you can see now you have a, a report here that you're in edit mode, so you're editing the template. And in this particular one, which is the maternity application, you might, for example, want to change this bit here, maternity and infant section HSE. So let's just say here, so you double click on it, I go out of it again. So you find this little, little box here, and you just double click on it, and you go into it to change it. Let's just say HSE, in my case, South 
uh, Trilly or wherever your address is. Once you put that information in and you press the tick here, you have to click the tick in order for that to go in. Now I'm going to test this um, report by clicking on this thing here, preview the report. And you can see that for all my patients from now on, I'll have that information in there. And you can do the same for any other field that you want to edit. In this particular one, that's probably all you need to edit because this is taking the patient's name and the patient's address. And you see here in this particular report, I have the phone number 064, which is the uh, Kerry area. In fact, you'd need to delete that. So I double click on the column, go in there and just backspace and delete those three. And it'll just take the telephone number of the patient. So that's the second one. I just put that in there to, to demonstrate it for you. And as you go down here, it takes the rest of the information. So it's a very little to change. So I'm now going to execute this before I save it, just to test it. So I'm clicking on the white thing there and I've got everything correct. So I'm now ready to save this template. So I'll exit the executed report and I'll save the changes by clicking on the save report over here. And I'll exit now the, the report template. It always asks then as if you're, uh, if you're going to print it, do you want to, to record the fact that the maternity application has been sent? And normally you would so, so that you can track these patients who you have sent an application for and who you haven't. So we'll say no in this case because I'm just showing in this video how to edit the report templates. So if I click on the administrative button again and now just click and everybody in the practice can do this. Uh, print the maternity application and you get the correct one. As you can see here I've changed the address there and this 064 is there simply because it's in the patient phone number, it's not in the template, the report template. So I say no to record the fact that I did the template. Now I'm going to go to the second report by clicking on the administrative button there, holding the shift key down, that's on the bottom left hand side of your keyboard, and click on the referral letter. And you can see here that you have the GP name, GP qualifications, you'll have to enter your own GP information in here. And here I have organization name, organization address, organization locality. This is actually taken from your Health One user uh, DB, which I'll show you in a second. So now we will uh, do a preview of this report by clicking on the white icon here. And you can see that this is comes out exactly like that, whereas the medical center comes out correctly because it's extracting that information from the user DB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the preview and I'm going to double click this box here to change it. So let's see now we we'll call this Dr. John Smith. Let's say he is MICGP MB, uh, for example, and I put his medical counsel there, uh, and I say his uh, medical counsel number. I just leave that text there. Actually, we won't just replace it. I have colon there, and I'll put uh, seven eight nine zero two, and the second GP name. We we'll call that Doctor Doctor. Mary, and we put in as nice as you like, Mary Murphy. And uh, she is also an MICGP, and we we'll get rid of the plus sign, and we say medical council number is uh, 987652. And we say there is no other uh, doctors in the practice, so we just go down and we delete the rest of those. And we in order to save the changes in any of these text editor boxes in any report, you have to first click the tick, the OK tick sign here. And now that is saved in there forevermore. I can move this box around if you like to have it like that, for example.
and now I'll execute it just to preview the report and this will always be there for this particular practice. Now you see Mary Murphy's medical council number wasn't saved and I'm not sure why uh, so we just put that in there. We'll select that. I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to go down to Mary Murphy, put in a few spaces and paste it and change the number to 987652 and then click the tick again to say OK. Now I've got Mary Murphy's in there. Now I'm going to preview the report and I get the right answer. I'm going to exit that. So the organization name and organization address, if you haven't got these in your user DB, you will have to put them in or else physically write them into the template here, this being the template. And that is as much as you have to do with this particular template. So I'm going to save this report and I'm going to exit it. And now forevermore for all doctors and nurses in the practice, if you click on the record additional data or administrative button and you do a referral letter, you should get your heading here. So that's how to edit this report or any report within Health One. I'll quickly now edit the last report for pregnancy by clicking on the administrative button, holding the shift key down and clicking on HSE maternity claim. And here you have the GP name. As you see this, you don't have to edit it because it's taking the username, the organization address, locality and postal code from the user DB. So I don't need to change it. And there are uh, and there is nothing else in here to change except perhaps the um, you just double click on the box, make your change, click the OK tick box and it's done. I do however want to show you here that you can put in the six week check for example. If you want to put in a date for the six week check here, I'm just using this as an example because there's nothing in there. I'll pick this box here, double click on it to open it and now I want to put in a, a field from Health One, and I insert something by clicking on this box here. And I want to go to Data Field here, and you have Pregnancy Exam Items and Pregnancy Items. So the pregnancy item I want here might be uh, Pregnancy Exam Items, the six week check. There's special items that we inserted just for pregnancy. See this? Pregnancy Exam six week check date. So I click there, click OK, so that's pregnancy exam six week check date. Click OK and it goes in. I have to click the OK button here to make it work. And let's just click the uh, preview to see if I get the right answer. And I don't in this case because it's not in the file, but if it was in the file it would come out. So I'll exit the, uh, the executed preview I'll save the template by clicking on save report and I'll exit the template and I won't record the fact that I sent it to the HSE. So that's everything done in my report. You can also edit uh, and configure a different type of report which are the templates which I will do in the next video. If you look at tools options, pregnancy. You can see here that you have used template to print pregnancy documents. Unticked use report. What I've just shown you in this video is reports because it's unticked. They're the reports. It's a slightly different method if you happen to use templates. Some people use templates and we put them in. We allow them as well because you've been using templates up to now. Everybody has been using templates to do their pregnancy referrals, etc. So I'm for the moment going to just uh, leave it unticked and finish this uh, video. Uh, I will do the next video on the uh, templates. Thank you for listening.